before he went to the game itself. But, you know, a lot of these people aren't on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. And even if they are, they don't really follow guys who pontify. You know, they don't uh, they don't follow the guys who are accountants and pontify what Peter Lobo once put out me. You know, so, you know, you can take the Green Brigade out. You, you can take 112, you can take 110 out. You've still probably got about 5,000 young lads who wear gazelle trainers, skinny jeans, £400 stone island coats, and they don't really give a fuck what MD over the age of 30, apart from their parents say. And nothing in the Celtic doctrine, unless you get Brother Wolfred at the grave, or get Jock Steen or Jimmy Johnson, God the rest of them all, to come out and have a word with them all. And you really want to listen to them, mate, you know? Well, then verbatim says, Tommy, give it up, you really need to find yourself a new team. No, I don't need to find a new team. I just have to sit here and say, listen, see all these new breed of Celtic fans? They're cunts like you, verbatim. Okay? There you go. Oh, but no, I mean, I'm just put down a phone. Angela Haggerty, she's outspoken me a wee blog. And I was verbatim there. He 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 jumped in throwing his fucking tuppence worth in. See all these cunts here? I've just verbatim, I've unfollowed you and I've... I've uh, took the liberty to unfollow you as well, so go fling shade to the moon. I can't be arsed with fucking daubers like you. Phone me in. If you ain't got a ticket, it's 0141 416 Sorry for interrupting, Parrot. Crack on, bro. No, it's all right. You know, on a positive note, seeing me G-Show, what a, what a performance on the park. Friday night, mate. You know, a, a very, very small, tight, atmospheric stadium. The team, and you've seen the, the couple of players tweeting, I've seen it being retweeted, Chris Commons, Tony Stokes, etc., saying, you know, what a night, the fans were there, freezing cold, giving it a loud day the whole game, mate. And, and you know, we're looking at, how, how is it for the players playing in that soulless stadia, you know, due to the PLC incompetence or, you know, mismanaging the prices. People can't afford to go into it. They've got tarpaulin over seats, they can't fill. And listen, this, this isn't just a Celtic problem. Old Trafford yesterday's the same, seats at the back, all empty. Football's at a real big crossroads. You know, the, the uh, initial euphoria of a Sky football and having guys like Bergkamp and having guys like Chris Sutton and Henry last at Celtic, you know, we, we were blessed to have day players for as long as we did. You know, the, the unfortunate uh, reality of football is now you've seen somebody like Victor Wignano, you know he was not hanging about long. You look at that big Dutch centre-half I've got, what happens if somebody comes in at Christmas and bids eight, eight or nine million pounds? You have to take it. You know, we're at the Champions League, so you've got to enjoy these players while we have, mate. So, I mean, football's at a difficult time, but we'll wait and see what happens, mate. But i just close off, mate. Um, but they, the, the boys in last season, 1-1-1, have organised the food collection on the 21st of December against hearts outside the ground. I don't think there's many other ultra groups in European or world football who are doing anything like that. And they may have their faults and they may have their doubters and they may either they do stuff that I'm not particularly impressed with and I'm sure there's members inside the group that don't go on with each other or whatever. But you know what, we're lucky to have fans of that calibre who will come out and, and do some stuff like the food bank and that's no me being apologetic and trying to make up for the for the the um the seat smashing into them. whoever's smashed these seats up the door but well, if it's been accidental it's, it's football we can afford to pay it if it's been deliberately it'll have to be sorted out you know but you know hopefully everybody just rallies around and they get it together mate and uh, it's Barcelona the Wednesday night I, I think I know two people that's going over for it there's a, there's a wee bus wee, wee Jack and Claude's going over for it I know they're, they're buses setting off in a few hours there's no euphoria over in Europe Wednesday night I mean, it's just a half diddy game we're out my ass mate you know Aye. Right, you're a drop in the band. You're banned as well. I'm banning you like that previous caller. Yeah, cunt you. You're getting banned. <laughs> I tell you, you what, mate, that was some, that was some, that was some cigarette that guy he was smoking, man. He never stole for about 20 minutes unless he had a Bob Marley size spliff in the go or something. I don't know what was happening there. No, he denied there was a spliff. He, he definitely said it was a, a fag, but the way he kept talking it there, he sounds like he's got talkers' lungs anyway. He sounded like he was fucking. <laughs> Anyway, God bless him. At least he phoned and put a point. I might get him back on. I'm going to, uh, you're banned as well now, you cunt. You're everybody's a cunt. <laughs> Can't leave him, you're aging. We've got plans. We've got to Hollywood. Come on. You're banned, you cunt. Right, you're off. Get to Harry Carpenter. Right, cut, cut, cut down the swearing. TC's no impressed in the chat room. And I know my Lithuanian brothers, uh, you'll be listening to this in the morning. Well, my apologies, right, for my, my language, right? 
But the pressure that I've been under for months is all coming to a head, right? It's all coming to a head very, very soon. And if you think I'm bad, the new, just wait to the final decision. And then, oh dear. Right, anyway. Well, can, you, can we pre record your stuff and I'll sit with a fog horn and just bleep the swear in it? We'll probably just, oh, we'll sound like San Francisco Bay for three years. But see, there's no, see, there's no, there's no, there's no legal things on podcast live shows. You can just do what you want. So as long as you don't, you can swear and shout at things. It's, it's a listener's discretion. You know, I'm a, a Tourette suffering half wit, so it's about to go at any time. So you've, if you've been always been pre warned, where I get I, an arsehole like me. Hey, can I can I just say me on a very serious one? No, no, this is a, this is a, this is a serious one. Oh, honestly, okay. for a change. Uh, send my condolences to be to be Josh Gaffney, um, who lost his who lost his dad yesterday, God rest his soul. Suddenly, so lovely lad. We Josh does a lot of the um, the graphics for Pale Wheel Media, uh, and, and books and all that. He's a lovely wee lad. So uh, I mean, I know a few lads in the chat room. Sure to do that. I, I seen him for a wee coffee before me and me and Arthur and Larkin had a coffee with him before Paul's book launch um, in Glasgow. Couple weeks ago, but no, a lovely wee lad. Sorry to hear that, and I hope everything every, goes as well. Yeah, indeed. Every show that I do is thanks to that wee boy as well. God bless him. But I know he uh, did some speaker stuff for you, mate. A lovely lad, like you know what I mean. He helped. He helped so, uh, because uh, without the thing, way without the uh, the the virtual audio cable, and I still have to go and listen to his wee video that he puts on because I'm that hopeless. Any time I, I I have to put it on a new computer, I have to go and listen to it or to see how to do it again, so, and, and he taught me through it the first time he did it, you know, when I was putting the speaker with the Skype uh, through the computer and having to do it, so, he helped, that's sad, mate, so God bless him, mate, oh, that's a shame. And I'll be serious, I know, I know we're, we're all on here great and stuff like that, but when, when stuff like that happens, it puts everything in the um, perspective, mate, and hopefully, although he's a wee text, and hopefully everything goes smooth with yourself with that other stuff, I know what's going on, so, right. Harry Krishna, my comrade will talk soon, mate, alright? God bless, take care. Right, right. That's a parrot. He's banned. He's a C. Yeah, so I apologise. But uh, I apologise for my foul and abusive demeanour and manner. And did everybody here now? Look, another one who are defending Angela. I'm sorry. I'm forcing unfalling you. I'm falling you. If I'm falling you, I'm unfalling you, and then forcing you unfalling me. Now, if anybody wants to do that, if you want me to, if you want to unfollow me, please remove yourself the way I do from falling you as well. Force unfollow. Nice and polite. Don't be a backstabbing, backsliding weasel. Do it to the person for the front. It's more appreciated stabbing somebody in the front, I think. At least you can see the face of the bastard. Instead of being a backsliding weasel. Backstabbing bastards. There's too many backstabbing bastards out there amongst the Celtic fans these days. And, uh, sorry, I can't go all that shit. I ain't a backstabber. I try and refrain from uh, taking part in any backbiting, talking about people behind their backs. It's something that I try not to do. But, hey, there's people who out here who make a whole fucking industry in it. But it's okay. It's right, whoever's following me here, uh, hang up and I'll phone you straight back. Hang up, whoever's phoning me in the note, I'm taking a wee break. I'm taking a wee break and I'll phone you straight back. Whoever it is there, right, I'll phone you straight back. God willing, we're going to play a wee tune. And, uh, yes, since I'm way back to the time of the Sandaza call, I have been denied a chance to earn money through a, a few reasons. So, or also, yeah, I meant to say, this was a bit of housekeeping. 
and it's probably wise that I maybe in the current light of situation, right, that I, I take the opportunity afforded to me at this current time to take a break from doing some live shows, possibly until uh, the new year. And the reason being, right, my subscription to Skype, uh, the £29 for all the calls to mobiles in the UK and the £10 abroad call, so that's £40, and uh, I think it's 13 or £14 for the speaker. That all becomes due today or tomorrow. And uh, I know there's wonderful people out there who have offered to pay before and help donations. Uh, but uh, it's probably better that I do take a wee break after tonight's show because I don't think I'll be able to... If you think I'm bad, then I'll just wait till you see what happens in a few days' time. And uh, I can't justify spending the 50 bangers uh, that it would cost to keep the show going in the next few weeks, particularly when it's Christmas and the money would be better spent on uh, Wayne's, the wee black babies who uh, have to suffer me as a father. Yes, indeed. And before I call anybody a cunt, I do have to phrase that, that I am the biggest cunt, arsehole, fanny, dickhead, wanker in the entire planet. I ain't no ticket. I ain't nothing special. I'm the biggest fucking cocksocket, wanker, dickhead, prick in the planet. I have to look at my ugly fazog in the mirror every single day and live with the mistakes of my own life. So I don't need anyone to tell me how much a cunt that I am. So when I tell someone else that they are a cunt, it's because it takes one to know one is the old phrase. So, uh, yeah, so this particular cunt is going to be really seriously pissed off so, uh, and it's no, as I say, I, I could, there's wonderful people out there who would offer to pay for the show, it's only £50, but in the current circumstance, what the Freemasonic state has done to me, and uh, my limited supply of cash just now, is, uh, it's not really a concern, but instead of spending the money, I'll be spending it for the Waynes, and uh, yes, I think we should get to the end of this show, but speaking, I may be able to do one tomorrow. But certainly I'm going to let the calls go for the side of it. I'm not going to pay for that. And uh, I'm going to let the speaker go. I think you get about 15 days, so I'll probably instigate that back up about Christmas time, maybe just to save the... or the, the ones there, the, the, the files, yeah, because I think they delete the file after 15 days. So I'll be taking a break for maybe two or three weeks. So God willing, I'll be back soon. I might do the wee small ones, the wee half-hour ones. I've got another page where I can do half-hour shows. But don't worry, I will be on, and I'm going to come on to Radio Snide. Yes, Radio Snide is going to be getting a phone call. They're going to be getting told what a bunch of cunts they are. If Deco Deco from Toronto can phone them, then I'm going to break my my uh, my silence on those motherfuckers. Sorry for the language again. And I will be going on Radio Shortbread. I'll be going on Radio Five Dead, Talk Shite. I will be media jamming every single outlet that I can find. I'll be using a program of civil disobedience peacefully against the dirty wrongings who have inflicted what they have inflicted. So, and and and, and uh, it's possibly going to reveal who I am. So you're probably going to see the real me. So my real name and my real stuff will come out there. But that was the reason why I gave up my house. That is the reason why I've, uh, I've I've took the path down that I've taken, and it's led me to where I've led myself. And I'm happy. We all make our beds that we lie on. So God willing, I'm going back to guerrilla tactics of infiltrating the mainstream media on our own soil, and everyone. And I do mean everyone. This isn't a case where. The Twitter and social media and my wee live shows ain't going to be good enough for me to take what I need to take this to. So I need to go on a real, go back to what I used to do, ma mainstream media jamming. The equivalent of jumping up.